How's she going, folks? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits, and today we're going to have a look at the cheapest external battery that I've ever bought. For about $3, I bought this ooh, beautiful do-it-yourself external battery pack. Unfortunately, they never actually told you that uh, you had to put it together yourself or it didn't come with the battery, but I should have known because they were only asking about three bucks a piece. So let's take a look at what we actually got in one of these. I'm going to keep this one boxed because I really want to take a shot at it sometime. Um, so you can go out and you can get, oh geez, what are they called? Vape batteries that you can use to plug this in. But what I would say is they don't actually give you anything. They don't give me the wires that I need. Like, I don't expect them to give me the solder for this stuff, but give me the leads, folks. You expect me to find the leads on my own? But you, heck yeah, I gotta get one of these things going. Check out that, uh, that LED tray. Once again, LEDs are always nice, but the cheap ones will fade very quickly over time, right? That's just how she goes. Sometimes she goes, sometimes she doesn't go. She didn't go. That's how she goes. But still, the idea for three bucks, you get a solar panel like that. I think I'm going to be saving the solar panel. And be trying some tricks out with that uh, elsewhere. But, oh, they stink. As soon as I got them, I could smell them like burning plastic. What the heck's going on there? But yeah, that's what we got going on here. All the pieces that you need to do it yourself. Uh, once again, the listing didn't even say that there weren't going to be batteries. But I think they have a really hard time shipping batteries from China and uh, getting them over here. Of course, there's a lot of problems with batteries. I'm sure they would experience a lot of problems with bad batteries, especially uh, like super, super cheap batteries being shipped over to America from China. Man, that could uh, cause a bit of an issue. Anyways, that's what we got, folks. That's what they look like if you're thinking about ordering them. And uh, I'm going to be keeping one and throwing the other out because God knows I'm probably never going to actually find the time to make one. Us men, we have something we like to do. We give ourselves way too many projects so that we'll last until the end of time because we can't die before we get all of our projects done, right? That just seems to be the thing. I mean, any of the, millenni or the boomers I see out there, all of them have one car that they will always say that they will fix and they will never fix. Or if they're the richy rich type, they'll get a car and then they'll drive it around and something will happen to it and they don't have the money to fix it or they don't have the time to fix it. So they put it into storage and eventually they just sell it or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. But we need our projects that we will never complete. And ladies and gentlemen, this will be one of mine. Anyways, that's it for me. Never from the stack, but it's like and subscribe, like this kind of stuff. Always appreciate it. And as always, take care of each other, folks. Catch you later.